What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop the Balls bringing you guys another Black Ops 3 tips and tricks video where we're going to talk about something a little different and that's going to be player psychology, how people think and act when they play Call of Duty and as you can probably tell from the title of this video, it's going to be about how people go for revenge kills. I mean, when you die in this game, there's nothing worse than dying. I mean, the first thing you want to do is just go back and instantly go for that revenge kill and sort of one-up that player that just killed you. And when I'm playing Black Ops 3, I see people doing this a lot, and I even catch myself doing it a lot, and it's something that happens very consistently over a lot of different Call of Duty games. And I'll show you a prime clip of this right here. I jump up here and kill I Vicodin, and I sort of hang around, and sure enough, he spawns by A and comes back up for the revenge kill and kills me. Now I'll skip ahead to, I'll go around to the same area and kill him again, and sure enough, he spawns back by A, and comes down that pathway towards the area I just killed him to try to go for the revenge kill and I'm able to get him again and he spawns by A a third time and shoots me up from on that ledge. So it's just this is the kind of thing I see happen a lot and this was just a really good example I was able to find in one of my gameplays and one thing to mention is that people don't go for these revenge kills when they spawn way too far away. I mean if they spawn on the other side of the map chances are they're not going to be able to get to you so they'll just move on and forget about it. But if they spawn close enough to you, they're going to always, always try to come back for that revenge kill. But knowing this information gives you an advantage over those players that you kill. Like the second time I kill I Vicodin, I know he's going to spawn by the A flag because that's the only flag his team has in this game mode. And so when I run down that pathway towards their spawn, I'm almost 100% sure he's going to be coming down that pathway because I know he's going to spawn there. And based on the time it's taken between I ki when I killed him and when I ran down that path, he's probably going to be on the other side of that pathway. So I was already expecting him to be there, which let me get an advantage over him and kill him in pretty quickly so that he didn't have a chance to get me. Now, I have another great example of this on Aquarium. I killed this kid, Circular Cape, and I'm so sure he's going to come back for this revenge kill. I just stand here and wait for him. I mean, I know he's going to spawn back there because it's safeguard, and I just stand here and wait for him, and sure enough, he comes running down the hallway again, and I'm able to get him no problem because I know he's coming. Now, I'm not advising that you camp like this. Obviously, like, don't camp, guys. That's not how you should play this game. But I'm just using this as an example because I wanted to show you guys how sure I can be that he's going to come for this revenge kill. And when you know someone's coming, you can set up for it and expect it and get the kill a lot faster than someone else who doesn't know you're coming and you have to react and kill them, which typically leads you to dying more often than not. So that's all the information I had to share with you guys in this video, just a little bit about player psychology and things I've noticed over playing Call of Duty for so long that I realize I use to my advantage and sometimes don't even think about it. So I noticed this, I figured I'd share it with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new and hopefully this will help you guys in your gameplays. And if you guys are new around here, Feel free to hit that subscribe button for more Black Ops 3 tips and tricks like this and more other Black Ops 3 videos. And smash that like button for me to help support my channel and support this video. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.